Google says Chrome isn't KI11ING ad blocking extensions. A Google Chrome lapel pin. Google isn't. That's the message in a we. And October revealed a brada. In January, there's. Ghostery threatens an antitrust lawsuit. Some extension authors aren't mollified, though. Maker of a tracker blocking extension, still doesn't like the new, some with higher limits and raised the prospect of legal action against Google. This. However, it's not clear how the move would protect Google's ad business. Even with a sharp part of the debate concerns rules that ad blockers use to decide what to screen and what to display. Chrome's current dis Google didn't respond to a request for comment. Google lifts extension limits some. On Wednesday, Google said that it's raising the limit to a global maximum of 150,000 rules. Last month, Google stressed in its posts that Manifest V3 is still in development and that ITLL work with developers. However, the John Wheelander, a programmer behind the intelligent tracking prevention technology in Apple's Safari, expressed some sympathy for Google's stance. They those who question Google's motives, though, also need to look at who's behind the, said Malti Yuval, technical leader for Given Opportunity for rival browsers The Chrome change has turned into an opportunity for rival browsers also using Google's open-source Chromium software foundation to try to stand out. The companies told Microsoft, whose Edge browser is the newest member of Google's Chromium community, said it's still evaluating its options. We